Good morning, welcome to photo shoot day. I usually don't shoot anything locally anymore, mostly because I don't have time and people don't like to pay to play. So today's a little bit different. It is private collection with private collector. I have shot before, but this is a couple new vehicles that he did acquire over the few, last few months and he wants me to shoot them. So I'm pretty excited about that. Welcome to a life of a model. I had to do a full skin prep, face prep, hair prep. I'm gonna blow dry my hair and then start getting ready two hours later. <laughs> so this is where we're starting and um, I'll show you where we finish up. And here's the halfway masterpiece. Let's finish up. I think I just set a record for myself, an hour and 45 and this masterpiece is completed. Let's go shoot. Today is not the day for detours, but it is now 2.12, our shoot time is 2 o'clock, and the dude asked me for a calendar, and of course my calendars are at my shop, so detour it is. Let's go grab a calendar and get the hell back on the road. And this is where all the magic happens. Oh, hello there, Jackson. Calendar check. Let's go. And welcome to our location how big this spot is it's fucking crazy and of course the first thing to bless us when we walk in the door is the el diablo which is the same bike as mine a 22 fx rst with some badass options and now we set up can you say ocd 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 all right, outfit number one is ready to go. Let's let the boys set up while I check out this absolutely beautiful 74 square body that I'm obsessed with. So the first thing I always ask the photographer to do is to warm me up so I can sharpen my lens contact and make sure my angles are good. And if I do say so myself, that's not bad for the first shot out the gate. I know I'm ready, but are you ready for the 69 Camaro that's about to pull up? Hugger Orange is a tricky color. It can be totally hit or miss, but this car, this is a hit. And I think that's about it for this outfit. So let's see what we get into next. All right, so red it is. This is gonna look beautiful with the 70 RS that we're shooting right now, which is his newest addition to the collection. And for the grand finale, the bikes. The bikes are where I really shine. I wanna do something creative and I decided to wear this oversized Dixon flannel and these super cute shorts. First up is the El Diablo. Now I've been super excited to shoot this bike. This bike is rare. There's only 1,500 of them made. This is number 1304. The big difference between the El Diablo and the regular ST is going to be this beautiful paint job. It is factory from Harley Davidson, candy paint job, multiple different layers of red. Plus it comes stock with the Rockford Fosgate audio system. Those are pretty much the only differences here. He's already added exhaust, a saddleman seat and risers. As you can see, the handlebars sit a lot higher than mine. When this bike dropped in September, everybody told me to cancel my order and get this one, and I'm so happy I kept the gray. As beautiful as the red is, it's not my color. While they finish setting up for the grand finale, I just can't help but think this is exactly why I became a model, to create art. I love this look between the colors and the cohesion with the brands. I can't wait for this to be my next poster, so stay tuned for that. And that is my last look of the day. Let's uh, wrap it up and go get some carbs because I'm freaking hungry. But I did look cute.